We have weighted our geometry and we have transferred weights to our geometry. Now we are looking to add bones to a rig that already has been weighted. Here I have my rig and I have the weighted version of my mesh. I will get an attribute delete node and remove the point colors. So in this example we can say that we no longer need a pig, instead we'll need a piglyphant. This character will not have a snout, instead it will have a trunk. So we'll need to add some bones to the nose. First I'll need to extend the rig. I'll get a line node and I'll position this along the nose. This line will have four points. I'll position these points to conform with the trunk. The line will now need to be converted into joints. To do this, I'll get a rig doctor node. I'll set the name to be trunk and I'll add transforms to the point using initialize transforms. Now that our points have names and transforms, we should be able to use them as part of the rig. To test this, I'll get a rig post node and I should be able to animate the joints. The new bones can now be joined to the existing rig. I'll connect them using a merge node. We can then link them as part of the same hierarchy using the parent node. There will be one parenting operation. The parent will be the head. This will be the parent of the trunk. I can now pose the trunk as part of the existing rig. We can now connect a bone deform node, but our trunk will not have any influence as the bones are not included in the weighting. To look at this more closely, I'll get a capture layer paint node. Our trunk bones are not included in the capture regions, so we cannot add them here manually. So we will need to add the new bones to the mesh, to do this, I'll get a Bone Capture Lines node and connect it to the updated rig. Next, I'll need a Tet Embed node. The first input will be connected to my mesh. The second input will be connected to my Bone Capture Lines node. I'll make sure that we have no enlarged offset. And we now have our tetrahedral mesh. I can then apply weights using the Bone Capture by Harmonic node and we now are generating weights for our mesh. This can now be connected to the Capture Layer Paint node, and if we look at the viewport, we'll see that we still have the existing weights, and they have not been updated. The trunk bones are now included with the Capture Regions, so we can now paint them manually, but this is not the ideal result. So, we can now examine the Bone Capture by Harmonic node more closely. We have a parameter that is called destroy existing weights, and this parameter is active but is having no effect. Instead of destroying the weights, we have the same weights that we created previously. The reason for this is that we have weights coming in through the first input, and these weights are being destroyed. But these weights are being overridden by weights which we are adding to the tetrahedral mesh. The weights from the Tet Embed node are being overridden by those attached to the incoming mesh. These weights are then also overriding the Bone Capture by Harmonic node. To solve this, I'll get an Attribute Delete node, and this will be placed before the Tet Embed node. This will remove the Bone Capture attributes. I will also remove any extra attributes that are related to weighting. The tetrahedral mesh can now be regenerated. When I select the Bone Capture by Harmonic node, I should find that I have updated weights, with the trunk being a different color. If I look at the Capture Layer Paint node, we'll find that we have weights generated for the bones of the trunk. But we have a problem here, and that problem is that we are actually generating weights for the entire mesh, and we have lost all the original weights. In this case, I only want to generate the weights for the trunk. In the Bone Capture by Harmonic node, I can turn off Destroy Existing Weights. This will allow me to use the existing weights. It will also allow me to blend between the original weights and the new ones. This can be driven by an attribute, 
but in this case I will use a group. I'll select some points on the trunk and I'll grow the selection. Now when I use a blend it will only affect the selected points of the trunk and we will retain the original deformation for the head. We now have a pig with a trunk which can be animated. And that is how we'll add weights to an already weighted mesh.